Put a spoonful of pond scum under the microscope, and you might see this. Single-celled green algae doing the breaststroke. And they do it constantly, and not really by choice. Those whip-like structures, flagella, move like that spontaneously. And researchers want to know why. Flagella have the same internal structure as cilia, the hairs coating this freeze-dried paramecium. And even though they're found on these simple organisms, they're not simple organs. Biological cilia and flagella are enormously complicated structures, right? They have 650 proteins, and so it's been very hard to really pinpoint what makes this biological cilia and flagella beat in this spontaneous fashion. So Dojic wondered if you could make a simpler version that would still beat. And that's what he and his colleagues published this week in the journal Science. So instead of working with 650 components, we've only taken four important components. And made this. An artificial flagellum. In real time, it beats much slower than a real flagellum. These artificial structures are, you know, much less efficient than real biological cilia or flagella. But, you know, the, the patterns look similar. And the patterns continue to look similar if you clump a bunch of these artificial cilia together. Here they are attached to an air bubble. And so when one bundle bends, it causes its neighbor to bend, and very soon you organize a, a spontaneous wave that propagates along the whole interface. It's kind of like what you see in a football stadium, right, when people make a wave. Of course, these guys aren't thinking about doing the wave or thinking at all. The important thing is that there is no master control here, right? The artificial cilia are primarily made of bundle of filaments called microtubules, and sliding along those tubes are things called motor proteins, which actually cause the cilia to bend. Now, precisely how this works isn't well understood, and in fact, if this bending is exactly like this bending, isn't clear either. But it really opens a new venue uh, by which we can study this question. And so we are hoping to start putting in more components now and build up the complexity from the ground up. It's kind of like a, if you build it, understanding will come approach to biology. Just to continue with the sports metaphors. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.